Hi, Armando from WDN. So this video, I would like to give you something more actually, because we just installed a few days ago and upgrade our solar panel system. We have two new solar panel, the Ultraflex 100 watt each one that goes with the, the old one. It's um, 80 watt that it's on the top. So first of all, I want to show you how I use them um, because they're not fixed on the roof. I just take them out every time I need, if I need that extra power, for example, now that it's summer and we're gonna use more the fridge and uh, uh, as always charging our computers and cameras, batteries and everything. So they're now just um, on the top of the van, just, um, I just left them for the afternoon. So these are the two solar panels. I just put a piece of rope in between these or 100 watt each one and they're not really that heavy. We speak about one kilo each one. Uh, they usually came with the cable to set it and with a diode, but it's really important. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you later. I just create two simple S with a piece of iron that I will put here. These panels were pretty cool because they have three holes each side and will be make it easy to put them. So that's it. So I just put them on the windshield. And here we go. So one, two, three, we speak about 280 watts. So how to connect these two solar panels? We create a system that it's pretty easy um, with diodes and connectors. We just put the cables together and um, Everything comes always from here, where was the original uh, system with the old solar panel that it, it's on the top. So basically, I just open the window just a little bit. Then I have two set of cable, ones for each panel, that I just put out. Each one have one connector on the minus and one diodes on the on the plus okay that's the minus and that's the plus and second one here it's minus here we go and here the plus here we go so now everything is connected, three solar panels that worked together. The, the one that was original fixed on the roof and the two one. And as you can see, I mean, I just have two flying cables that it's really easy to put back and they just pass from the window. I did them like a couple meters. So I will also be able, for example, to if I want to put it on this side, if I want, but um, on the windshield, it's even better because it kind of cover, I mean, during the day, there's so many people that pass by. I mean, you have some kind of privacy and keep some nice shade inside. So let's see now from inside the van, uh, this is the area where we have all electricity power system. Um, so this is the old one. Um, it's the uh, solar panel controller. This is the new inverter that it's up to one kilowatt. And I'm gonna show you now, we also have a small control box uh, in order to separate all the panels. So from here, uh, it's where all the three solar panel cables arrive. And the outputs, it's just one cable that goes into the first slot of the solar panel controller. So here we start to produce energy. 
the second slot, it goes, there's a cable that goes to the batteries, to the laser batteries that are in the back of the van, and an extra cable that goes to the inverter. And then you see here the last one with the bulb, it's plugged with a small cable that goes to a cigarette plug that we have here that we only use for the, for the computer. So we just put online two, uh, as we are Mac owners, two transformer like this one. So we don't have to create 220 in order to use the computer, but we just use this transformer and it comes out with 12 volts and it gives the right power to the computer. Uh, the only advice I can give is to each cable that goes to the solar panel on the plus cable just to put the diodes. So the thing will be that the electricity can go just only one direction, so from the solar panel to the van and not the opposite. And just to be safe, as we, we had a short in the van, we also put, uh, where it is, it's here, we also put here inside, where is the inverter, we put a fuse, so it will avoid if anything happen again to have uh, pretty much the van burning, um, so it will burn only the fuse and not the inverter. So that's it. I mean, this is how it works and uh, we're pretty happy, especially before summer, to have a little bit more power so the batteries can charge even faster. Um, we were on the limits uh, using only 80 watts because of two computers and all the batteries um, that we need to charge every day as we use a lot. I mean, it's the drone, the camera and also other small batteries. So now with 280, I think we're pretty fine. And especially in the summer, we can use even more the, the fridge to have, you know, cold beer and um, yeah, just to run the house in a proper way. So I hope that this video uh, helped you. Um, I think that the solution to have super flex solar panel, it's pretty good, especially if you don't want to fix them on the roof. But as you can see, it's it's easy just to take them out and uh, to uh, put it on the wheelshield or even on the side of the van and to use them. Um, and also the, the system with the cables, it's not difficult to create. So, well, as always, if you like this video, just subscribe or leave a comment um, or, you know, just if you have any questions, just um, you're more than welcome to ask and we're gonna reply. Safe travel. <laughs>